You're listening to episode 111 of The Catholics of Oz. The Catholics of Oz is a show where we discuss faith, culture, and what's been happening from an Aussie perspective. Whether it's synods or science, apostolates and apps, providence or productivity, you can hear it right now on The Catholics of Oz. Hello and welcome to episode 111 of The Catholics of Oz, our last episode for the year. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's get straight into it. Caroline Knight is here with us. Caroline, how are you today? I'm feeling a bit festive. <laughs> yeah, I think we're looking at festive, aren't we all? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll go through our decorations in a minute. And Lido Sabal, how are you? Yeah. I'm good, Lindsay. Hello, Caroline. Yep, it's Christmas coming soon. Oh my goodness me, people. Mm. Where's yeah, the year uh, gone? Oh, we say this every year, do we? Where did the year go? Mm, <laughs> uh, let's say to you, oh my gosh, where did the year go? <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. yeah. Again. So um, when this episode comes out, it will be, um, let's say, about the 16th, 17th. So only, you know, a week or so from Christmas. So we thought we'd uh, make our last episode as Christmassy as we possibly could. And we're doing it, uh, if you're listening... Uh, you can also do this um, as video because we are um, we are recording this as a video episode as well. So if you go to SQPN's YouTube channel, you can see us and our festive decorations. So let's uh, <laughs> let's talk about this very quickly. Last night, oh my goodness! If you can see behind me, I, it took me ages to get a few bits of tinsel and some some stockings <laughs> and some decorations. And um, what I did want to mention though is that the shirt I'm wearing, it's uh, you can't actually see it very well through the camera, but there's um, if you once you see the yellow, what I want to talk about this, you'll know what I'm talking. You'll understand. I'm actually wearing a Star Wars Christmas um, shirt, and uh, that's the three PO. That's C three PO there with a Santa hat. And there's some different. There's um, Darth Vader upside down over there. Yeah. <laughs> they love Christmas. <laughs> a few droids, yeah. So, yeah, I've got a very Christmassy um, shirt going on here. Caroline, what have you done for us today? I've decorated myself, so I've yes, got a beautiful yes. Merry Christmas headband. Wow. Some beautiful, you can hear them, yeah. jingly bell earrings. <laughs> cool, a neck cool, cool, made cool. of Christmas flashing lights. I love that. <laughs> and some tinsel. You can't tinsel. go past a bit of tinsel, so there yeah. you go. We've, we've nice. all managed a bit of tinsel. All right, Lido, yes. what is going on? What's happening? Oh, what my doing? goodness me, guys. I I must admit, I apologize. I just, I think my, my partner just went um, Christmas and, and very she got um, festive. Playful. Yeah, I, I think that. she did a great festive. job. That is an yeah, amazing, amazing yeah. headwear. I'm, I'm sort of I'm sort of cramped in here because I'm putting my headphones on and a strange <laughs> angle, so I'm holding so my head and my hat is like goodness me. I'm I'm trying to keep it keep it keep it together here, and um, oh, one of my gnomes is going to fall off. Stay there, stay there. <laughs> He's going to stay there. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Sorry guys, just going to grab this one. Um, which way is it going? Yep. Okay. Yep. Is that one yeah. sleepy? Hands? Holding. Yeah, sleepy. Oh, yeah. Sleepy. yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna be careful not to laugh too much because I'm gonna fall <laughs> off. So yeah. So <laughs> on my left, yep, is a beautiful nativity scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And always better to remember that's the real reason we have Christmas. Mm-hmm. And mm. the right hand side is, of course, Santa. Um, it is so. I have to tell you guys, it is so so hard to find Mrs. Claus. In a sense <laughs> that this is the same size and, and like, oh, yeah, right. Right. Stuff the matching Mrs. It's, Claus, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're so, so yeah. fun to find yeah, well, This guy can't be single all the time. You know? he, he has to have a partner to, to help him out and everything. No. We all know that. Exactly. We know. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he's only busy one day of the year, so I'm not sure you know, that he needs that much help. <laughs> oh, no, well, he's got a whole bunch of elves. So. Uh, they, I mean, they're all oh, true. Presents, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, That's why he's so fat. I mean, everyone does all the work for him. He just sits in a sleigh and just, yeah. one night a year. That's it. I thought cool. it's because he Deal. had oh, you know, a household worth of cookies to eat to every, every house he went to. Oh, you know, oh my gosh. Part of it. Yeah. I will never remember. It's I'm sorry, I forget that um, episode we did. He was at Caroline. We're talking about how how long Santa would take to go around yes. the world. Last yes. Year. Our yes. Last yes. episode last year. How we could yeah. manage. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a great episode. So, <laughs> yeah, so we uh, we thought we'd go with our casual format. Um, we do have a you know some segments, but we're we're just going to take it easy and we just you know imagine today is you know is Christmas Day or and we're uh, or we're leading up to Christmas and we're just uh, mm. sitting around the um the table together and just uh, doing some fun Christmassy things together. So I was about to say before, we, we all yep. surrounded the young campfire, Lindsay, but in Australia at the moment, <laughs> no, uh, there are yeah. bushfires, not campfires. Yeah, we, yeah, yes. we don't, yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday yeah, there was a big factory fire near us too. So yes. Yeah, yes, there okay. was. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, 
yeah, so uh, first of all, before we continue, if you're new to listening to The Catholics of Oz, you can subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast player. Don't forget to give us a five-star rating and helps um, and some positive, positive feedback uh, because it helps us to reach new people, which is what we are all about. Uh, SQPN also hosts The Catholics of Oz on YouTube, including this video episode. You can subscribe there. Don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications when new episodes are released. And so with that, guys, let's begin. And I'm going to start with our first topic. And uh, actually, our first topic is uh, some listener feedback. So we received an email during the week. And uh, we loved this one so much that I asked uh, the listener if, um, if we could actually just make this a topic for our, you know, for our Christmas episode, uh, to which he said yes. So we're really grateful. So this was an email from John Clock. And he said, hello, Catholics of Oz. My name is John, and I'm one of your American listeners. I've been listening for a year or two and enjoy your commentary on Catholic topics as well as science and entertainment. Thank you, John. Bless you for that. We, we really appreciate mm-hmm. you saying that too. Um, so uh, he says this, perhaps you've discussed this in the past, but I'm very curious to know what it's like to celebrate Christmas in summer and Easter in the fall. So much of our decorations, music, etc., both Catholic and secular, refer to the Northern Hemisphere seasons that are happening during these liturgical seasons. Do you connect your seasons to these holidays the way we do? For example, do you think of Christmas as we've got the most sunlight of all at, uh, uh, of all the year and now we celebrate the coming of the Son of God into the world or anything similar? Thanks and God bless, John. But John, thank you, first of all, so much for, first of all, for getting in, t- in contact with us. It just makes us so happy when we receive um, any, you know, any communications from people who are listening yeah, and the feedback. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll get a question or, a, you know, or you know, mm. something to add to the show. Um, we always want to do that. Like I said, we're, we're a community show. We're all about the people who listen to us. So, yes, we, are, we were thrilled to be able to talk about this one. So uh, I'll throw it to you guys first of all. Like, uh, what do you think? In terms of uniquely Catholic things, uh, I don't think the seasons necessarily change anything for us, do they? Like we know, we know mm. that, for example, mm. that um, you know, Easter in the Northern Hemisphere you know, has to do with uh, spring. And, uh, you know, for example, spring is a time of new life after you've gone through, you know, uh, the winter of death. And I don't, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not being dramatic about, you know, like most things die in autumn, you know, bare trees, usually things like that. Um, and then in spring, everything comes to life again. You know, the flowers bloom, the trees sprout, you know, whatever. Sorry if that's not the wrong, the right term. You can do the gardening person, Carol. Bloom, that's the bloom. word. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and everything just comes back to life and it's glorious and beautiful. Right. And, you yeah, know, that's. That's got lots of links to the resurrection um, of Christ, you know, Christ coming forth from death, coming from the tomb and, and conquering death and, and, um, and you know, bringing victory the, to the world and so on. Um, but, the, but in terms of what we do, uh, I think we just stick with the Northern Hemisphere, uh, you know, Christian, uh, you know, like what, what the church doesn't, like in terms of the weather or, or the seasons, um, we kind of stick with the same things, don't we? Is that, that, would that be fair enough to say, guys? Yeah, I think so. Um, mm, I don't mm. think we really practice those. Like, I, maybe we don't connect them with the seasons as much. Maybe. Yeah, like, yeah, that's true. We just practice yeah. the the ceremonies, the rituals as they are. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? And maybe we don't think so much about it. I mean, of course, like Christmas, we do sing jingle bells and. You know, we Carol, we still sing Carol all those songs. Like, like yeah, yeah. yeah, we sing all that. Yeah, in terms of the, the um, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the the hymns and the secular carols. Mm. You know, we're still you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. I'm dreaming yeah. of a white. You know, all that. You know, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah all that's yeah. still yeah, uh, all that still happens, doesn't it? I was I was thinking um, that if you if you wanted to make in summer, uh, something that John was alluding to as well. In summer, if you wanted to make a Christmas connection. Um, the there were years ago, uh, well, many many episodes ago, one of our Advent episodes, um, I talked about some Christmas art, and there was this beautiful artwork, uh, and I can't remember what it was called, by Mike Moyers, and it was that one where um, it was all dark, and right in the middle there was a a gleam of light cracking through, and then there was a silhouettes of all these people, you know, from the, yeah. the, the front, the back. Remember that? Kind of remember that one? Exactly. And it was, yeah. you know, yeah. and it was Advent, yeah. and it was, you know, it was just, it's meant to symbolize just before Christmas, and the light of Christ is about to burst into the world, yeah. you know, mm, with, with mm, the birth mm. of Christ. Now, yeah. at the end of Christmas masses, um, there is usually some kind of a blessing, 
which refers to light, the, the light of Christ coming into the yes. world and yeah. enlightening yeah. our human darkness, the darkness yes, of human sin. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And so you could make an illusion. I mean, yes. there's nothing wrong with symbolically yeah. thinking, yes, you know, summer, you know, Christmas in summer reminds me of the, the light, mm -hmm. um, the light coming, the light of Christ coming yeah. into the world as, as God made man the, in the True. incarnation. That's, yeah. And if speaking you, of yeah. lights, actually in summer, sorry to barge in, but no, I no, just no, thought, no, no. Oh, good, good. Um, actually in summer, so, you know, we have daylight savings and the day lasts longer. Um, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. But also I do notice that we get to see the sky a bit better too in the evening and as the sun mm. goes down because you tend to stay up a bit more so as the sun goes mm. down you can see outside start to see the planets quite clearly ah, especially yes. jupiter and venus right yes and Beautiful. especially with jupiter you see it like one of the first stars that comes out in the evening mm. and what does that remind you of? A star during yeah, Christmas yeah, yeah. time? Yes. Yes. Yes, right? So, yeah, I mean, yep. there's a good connection mm -hmm. there as well. And I actually think about that every year. I'm like, oh, the magic. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, I yep. mean, when we talk, if you're going to talk about the, the star, you know, the, you know, yes. we always have a star on top of our tree and, um, you know, there's a connection for you. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, and we get the Southern Cross all year round as well. So we yeah, always think of the great Southland of the Holy Spirit as, as we've been described yeah, and everything exactly. too. Yeah. Right. Cool, yeah. cool. Um, in terms of secular things, um, I'm, I'm actually going to use an article to help me with this because it, it kind of contains all the things that, that I think all of us would think about. So um, this is in the show notes and uh, it's called How Christmas is Celebrated in Australia. Some of these things are not really uniquely Australian, but <laughs> excuse me, some, <laughs> some of them are. Mm. So okay. I thought... Um, First of all, one thing, now everyone does carols, but our particular thing um, all around Australia, uh, well, uh, in Melbourne in particular, but um, in, in most cities is carols by candlelight. Mm, that's yes. A, yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. It's kind of a tradition, it is. right? Is that it is. You know, Christmas it is. Eve, it is. Uh, Christmas yeah. Eve, we go to Christmas masses, right? So we either have, so we either do the family mass at 7.30 or we go to midnight mass. All the midnight mass, mass. Mm -hmm. yes, correct, yeah. yeah. But yeah. the majority, overwhelming majority of Australians, uh, in Victoria's in particular, because it's a Melbourne yes. thing, We'll have carols by candlelight on yes. TV. Yes. Um, if, uh, after you come back from the family mass or before yes, you or go before. to the midnight mass. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And generally speaking, there is a good, good, good number, healthy number of Christian Catholic, of Christian um, hymns that are sung. Yes, that, yes. By candlelight. that is correct. Yes. Yeah. And they sing so, them beautifully and respectfully. And sing, yeah, oh, and respectfully, yeah. yes. And yeah, they get absolutely. beautiful uh, singers with such beautiful voices. Beautiful yeah. Voices yeah. yeah, and you, and you yeah. get a nice a nice mix. So, you know, yeah. I mean, you still get your good old, have a merry, merry Christmas. I don't know, some of these yeah. other whatever. Santa but like, Claus yeah. comes on stage. Uh, yeah, and, Santa and all Claus coming, yeah, all you that. You get the wiggles, but, yeah. you get all yeah. that. Yeah, but still. And, and, um, <laughs> you know, what's it? Some, yeah. of them, some of them even kind of profess their faith. Uh, Marina Pryor's mm -hmm. come on a couple yeah. of times. She's a very yeah, popular op, um, oh, opera, you know, theatre performer. We grew up in with Australia. her, yes. Everyone, yeah, yeah. She's, and they, they, she's they pull her out every year to do Carol's Way Candlelight, you know. But yeah, she's and most times she's come on stage, she's said, you know, we celebrate, um, you know, that a child has been born, da, 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 you know, mm -hmm. so like there are a few people that actually kind of profess their faith a bit. Um, mm -hmm. And there are people, some of them don't have any particular faith, but they still sing them and they sing them so beautifully and respectfully, which I, I really they appreciate. Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. I think, was it Sydney, they watch Carols in the Domain? Is that the, that's yes, the big one? Yes, we there? watch that Carol. one as well. My kids yeah. will watch any Carols that's on TV, so yeah, we have yeah. to watch all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I like to leave it on, you know, either before yeah. or after Mass, depending on which Mass we go to. Like mm, when you've got kids, mm, you might mm. make decisions about, yeah, but it does kind of help to bring you into, you know, into the Christmas um, spirit as well. So it's quite yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's, um, one. that's one. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, now in Melbourne, we have the Maya Christmas windows. Maya Christmas. Yes. Yeah, that's so, right. Yep. So yes. this is a big, big tradition. Um, so um, Burke Street in Melbourne, uh, the Maya's store there has, what, a dozen windows? I forgot how many, like it's quite a few though. A few, yeah. Um, yeah. And they'll pick a theme, right? So they'll have, you know, the Grinch that stole Christmas or Peter yeah. Rabbit or whatever it might be, you know, some classic story. And they'll do windows, um, Christmas themes telling that yeah. story. Yeah. And they'll have, like, for example, there was one year where it was narrated by Dame Edna Everidge. And you go to each window and she go, 
And Peter Rabbit went over to the Oh, this is yeah. so cool! <laughs> Hello, oh, possum. Yeah, whatever, yeah. But that, yeah. <laughs> so I, think, cool. I don't know if that was Dame Edna or a cockatoo just then. Sorry. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, 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 the last window is always the nativity set. Yes. It's great. Yeah. Know, it's yeah. Great. So yep. there's that yep. public witness there. Well, I don't know who in Maya decides let's have a nativity set, but, you know, thank goodness you still got that there, right? So yeah. that's yeah. quite nice. Yeah. Um, what else have we got here? I well, this one's a bit for a bit not in Victoria, but I know that they, they televised this the Adelaide Christmas pageant. Oh yes. Um, oh so, yeah. This okay. is this is the street parade, isn't it? They they do oh, this. Oh yeah, um, that's yeah right. with the floats yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah so this is right. going every that. year. Nice oh okay. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, according to this, it's been going since November 1933. Wow. And it, it attracts oh, wow. four hundred thousand yeah. people. So it's wow. uh yeah. Uh, apparently, it's the second largest parade of its kind in the world, um, yeah, wow. following only Macy's second. Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. okay. A very yeah. tiny cool, cool. tradition that's been started, too, is our local yeah. council. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they yeah, They yeah, started yeah. lighting up a big tree yes, every year. Yes, a Christmas year. tree, yeah. The, yep. uh, now, they have, a, um, they have like a, a show day every year now. They'll invite yes. food trucks so, and they have Santa and stuff. And then in the evening they have carols and they light up their tree. Like we went last yeah. year. It was really nice. Yeah. We were going to go yeah. this year, but it was raining all day. But we but they keep the tree you, yeah. on. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> they light the tree every evening yeah. till Christmas. So you can go with your family yeah. and like take a cup of coffee you and hang the around the, the, the yeah. council building there because there's a bit of a an area where the kids can play and stuff. So yeah, that's a, a that's place something place we started really now. Well, so yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah, a, sure. a little family tradition we do is like we'll go see the tree and then we'll drive in the streets to go and look at people's houses yes, that have lights. Yeah, yeah, yes, so that's right. Go look. That's yeah, good too. For sure. Yeah, that's oh fine. yeah, that's that's yeah. one thing. Yeah, yeah where we it's not a tradition in Australia. Yeah, it's. We'll, a lot of people are doing a lot of lights on their houses at the moment. Oh, yes. No, yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People are going all out. Yeah. Going all yeah. out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, a couple of other quick ones. Now, I don't know that this one is actually unique to Australia, but it, they talk about um, the chocolate advent calendars. Oh, I'm yeah, sure totally. They do that. I'm, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, we yeah. do it for sure, right? But I'm sure everyone it's does that around the world. an advent but... calendar for everything now. And my kids yeah, there have are oh, ones this year. Yeah, yeah. 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 Lego. Yeah. And, yeah, I can get right, one yeah. for my dog. Like, he can have yeah. a treat Whoa. every day as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. cool. If he didn't yep. need to lose weight, I would get him one. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, very easily, so I'm not going to get him one of those. We still love you, Astro. We still love you. Yeah. Yeah, so... Now, I mean, some food that's maybe unique mm. is that we we tend to so the meats. Uh, now, actually, we don't do it, Caroline. Like, but uh, no. the, I know a lot of Australians do. They they serve their meats cold because it's summer, yes. right? So, mm. yeah. um, okay. So there'll yeah. still be a, some turkey and whatever, but it wouldn't necessarily you wouldn't necessarily want a hot piece of turkey because it's like you know, sometimes we had thirty <laughs> degree thirty degrees. Like, and it's yeah. like you, you're just dying from hot food and heat and, and whatever else. Um, <laughs> but Lindsay, it so, doesn't deter yeah. our mother from cooking. But not out no way. Our Maltese family is hot food. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. She and loves we die every nice. <laughs> wintry yeah. hot dinner yes. and well lunch. <laughs> yeah, so roast, she will yeah. get up early yeah. and start roasting yeah. everything. Yeah. Yes. And her house is 50 billion degrees by the time we get there yeah. from all the cooking. Yes. And yes, yeah. Um, although, and you do a nice now, pot pudding as well. I was just going to say, right, oh. so yeah. I, I like making Christmas pudding every year, so I do that. Yeah. But most Australians will use a pavlova. That's right. Right? Oh, so they'll decorate right. a pavlova. Okay. You know, there so, you go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. And they'll put lots of, you know, like uh, tropical fruits and you know, yeah. things like that on Ooh. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's um, true. Seafood, seafood is very popular. It's big. Yep. Yeah, seafood um, is very, very big, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. barbecued yeah. tiger prawns, according to this, but lots of seafood. Yeah. In fact, the, mm, um, mm. every year you see a news report about people buying seafood, including there's always the Sydney fish market, which is quite huge, yes. and everyone yeah. rushing in there and buying their Christmas yeah. seafood. So True. a lot of people actually do seafood at Christmas here in Australia too. What's, That's a, a what's big for tradition. us, guys? Yeah, what's for us? What, which, which should we go to a seafood place? Oh, oh, we oh, can get, get it anywhere. Yeah, Probably. Market, yeah, yeah. Preston Market. Yeah, um, um, I don't know if Dandenong oh, Market does. Uh, yeah. Fountain Gate has a big fish market there. That you yeah, 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 yeah. But a lot of the fishmongers, like there's a lot of fish, fresh fish shops where you can go and get yeah, the yeah, corn. Yeah. And even yeah. the supermarkets will have them. 
Actually, yeah, I did, yeah, like yeah. you were saying, Lindsay, I saw one of the producers on TV saying they were ramping yeah. up their production yeah, yeah. ready to go. Wow. And, and actually okay. the price of prawns are a bit cheaper this year because, you know, it's yeah. going well. So, yeah, cool. yeah. good yeah. for good everyone who eats them. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know that yeah. Isabel's parents' house, the prawns come out. Yeah, we have Christmas prawns, so there you are. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 Um, so, oh, now something else that people do in Australia is they'll go and just celebrate Christmas at the beach. They'll, yeah, because it's yes. so hot. Yeah, it is yeah. so hot sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 Um, yep. And then the day after Christmas um, is Boxing Day. Boxing so Day. Oh, Boxing wow. Day has traditionally been important for maybe two or three things, and I'm just going yes, from correct. the website here as well. I mean, things that yeah. we know, right? So, Boxing yep. Day sales is a big thing here. Uh, it's um, huge. That's, yeah, that's our Black that's, Friday. Although we have Black Friday that, now, but you know, but yeah, now so we do have Black yeah, yeah. Um, which I'm yeah, not complaining about. And again, like on Boxing Day evening, you'll see the the footage on the news of people, you know, crowded yes. at the Maya doors and you know in the city, and then yeah. rushing mm-hmm. in when the doors open to go get a Boxing Day bargain. Although, bargain, I don't know that the Boxing Day the bargains are that good at Boxing Day. I'm not sure. It depends, uh, I guess, what brands. Yeah, yeah. I uh, haven't yeah. been products, because yeah. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I've never been to yeah. Yeah. No, never been to a box yeah. shop. No, it, no I don't, yeah, online. I don't, you can do it online now. Yeah, yeah I think people do yeah. that now. I yeah. Think yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, the other, the other major thing is obviously the Boxing Day um, cricket as well. So yep. the Boxing Day yes, Test match a is cricket. a huge thing. That's yep. right. Yep. Yep. Yes. Um, yeah, and uh, also the Sydney to Hobart yacht race as well. Yeah, this is not then. Yeah. Oh, Boxing Day. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. there we are. That's a, those yeah. are some Aussie, so, some very uniquely Aussie Christmas traditions that are, you know, secular and, yes. uh, and so oh, on. If yeah. you want a tip on the Boxing Day sales, go and buy your Christmas yep. decorations on Boxing Day because that is when yes. they're really reduced yes. and you can have them for next year. True. Yeah. yeah and that's also, true. And, that's true. Yeah. and also, and I'm sorry to do this to these people, but there are all those vendors in, uh, in, um, in the shopping center selling, um, New Year's calendars, like the, the calendar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're like super yeah. expensive, and suddenly on January second, yeah. they're January really, they 2nd, cheap because they're going to clear up and get out. So, yeah. so if you want your calendar, just wait till January second. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> the day after. I'm yeah. Um. All right. So let's move on. So um, we've got we know, one thing that people like to do on Christmas Day, you know, is maybe play some games. So mm-hmm. I've got a game for us to mm-hmm. play. So um, uh, mm-hmm. now, uh, for everyone who is listening or watching you can actually play at home with us, all right? So uh, <laughs> I gave Lino and Caroline a list of 10 Christmas movies. Now, this is from a list that I found online of the top 100 Christmas movies in Australia by streaming, so by streaming popularity, all right? So mm. this list mm. is in our show notes, or at least I hope it is, all right? It's meant to be in our show notes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if yeah. you'd like to play along, uh, you can do this now. So what you need to do is what, here's what Lino and Caroline did. And if you're listening, if you want to play along, we'd love for you to play with us and tell us how you went. Um, Lino and Caroline, I gave them the list and I said, rank these films um, from most popular to least popular um, as they would appear on the list of 100. So you have to say like it was number 56 or whatever, but... I've just pulled out 10 films from, you know, films that are fairly familiar to all of us. I've pulled out 10 from that list of 100 and I've asked them to rank them from, uh, from most popular to least popular. So like a top 10. So if you'd like to, and then we're going to see how everyone went, all right? How, how oh. accurate everyone was. So if you'd like cool. to play along at home, um, there's no prizes, sorry, but you get our respect if you get 10 <laughs> out of 10, all right? You get, you get our, our respect for the year. Um, but uh, if you... Um, yeah, yeah, but if you, I'll send you my shirt. Uh, but if you, if you are, <laughs> you know, have my Christmas shirt, that's yours. Oh, right? I may want that shirt. Yeah, yeah, someone might want it. Yeah, I reckon. Um, so if um, I'll wash it first. But if you, um, <laughs> sorry, uh, but you throw if you, in these um, earrings as well. Yeah, you get the earrings. Oh, yeah, and I'm awesome. sure, and I'm sure Lena would be happy to get rid of that hat because it's causing you all kinds of trouble. So there you go. <laughs> You get get some Christmas, some wonderful Christmas gifts for all of us. Uh, so if you um if you'd like to play along, hop onto the show notes and get the list and put the films that you see. You know, pause this and um and uh, put them in the list of most popular, least popular. So um I'm going to just drag my list over. I, <laughs> let's go. I've here we are. I have it here in front of me. All right, mm. I've got it here. Uh, so uh, I'm going to ask you both. Of the movies that are listed there, should I read the list out? No, I won't because mine's in order. Of the movies listed there, which one 
was the least popular, guys. The which one came in? It's actually uh, number one hundred, right? But it came in number one hundred. Oh, wow. Which one, was, which one did you have on your list that was the least popular? Lena, you want to yeah. go first? Yeah, you go. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I I think it's Ernest Saves Christmas. Okay, Caroline. I agree with Lena. Yeah. Congratulations, guys! You're actually right. Christmas came at number one hundred uh, on the oh, list. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I can't I remember. remember. Me neither. Watching it. I, yeah. I, I feel like it's been on TV. I know. It's I remember the American title. Yeah. May yeah. have watched it once, but I cannot feel yeah. life very anymore. vaguely. Yeah. 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 I'm kind of yeah. curious to go watch it now. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch it. there you go. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, what was number nine on the list? I'll, Caroline, this time I'll go to you. What have you got there? Because uh, I kind of ranked them to how I like them. So I went jingle all the yeah, way. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Lena, go. what did you have? Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for some reason. All right. Um, interestingly, Caroline, uh, you're correct. It was actually uh, jingle all the way. What? What yeah. was Schwarzenegger? Oh, yeah, really? Was, yeah, with Arnie, Whoa. yeah. So it was actually, it was Arnie, uh, number 56. Arnie. Yeah, and it was number fifty six on the list. Um, oh, and Arnie oh, was, uh, yeah, Arnie was famous <laughs> for saying, for "Put this. that cookie down now." <laughs> <laughs> best line of the whole film. I have to say to my kids all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the best line right. of the whole film. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so okay, okay, um, okay. Uh, so the score is uh, Caroline two, Lino one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to try and keep score now. All right, so Caroline to Lido one. So, um, what was the the next one? So, number seven, uh, Lino, your turn. Um, the Santa Claus. Okay, Caroline. I went Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh, interesting. So, Lino, the Santa Claus is actually correct. So, this is the 1994 film with Tim Allen. <laughs> I never uh, saw of- it. Not that bad. I, I never saw it. It's not that good, uh, yeah. but it's not that bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was okay. Yeah. No. no it's, it's, Tim Allen. it's good enough to watch with your kids. Like it's fun. It is good. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. At least it's yeah. something you can watch yeah. Yeah, together. Yeah. 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 Tim so Allen. that's uh yeah. that's two points each. So well done, guys. Good. Mm-hmm. It's competitive. All right. Okay. okay. How are you going at home? Um all right. So uh <laughs> so number um what are we up to? Seven, six. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, six. So what was number six? Um on your list this time, we'll go Caroline. I, I had the Santa Claus here. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Lino. It's a wonderful life. But I'm okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, well, it's definitely higher than Home Alone because it's not that it's not the correct answer. Sorry, mm-hmm. uh, the, the correct answer is Home Alone, which came in at number forty on the list. Joking? No. Yes. No. All right, number forty. Oh. Um, come on. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Home cool. Alone. <laughs> Yeah, another great okay. film. We watch it every year at home and uh, has great lines like uh, mm. like this one. This is my house. I have to defend it. So, uh, yeah. We, um, <laughs> yes. There you go. And there's a, yes. oh, there's a couple of great scenes in that. Like, yeah, is that right? yeah there's, great, and there's some other great lines. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are a lot of lines oh. I wanted to put in, but I couldn't put in because of other yeah. lines. Yes, but, of course. Yeah. Um, like, things like, um, you know, I'm over mm-hmm. here. Yeah, and I can't finish that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Yeah, um, the, the best scene for me is the spider. Oh my gosh, the reaction when yeah. he puts the spider on on the on his face, you know, on Mark, yeah. Oh Mark, my goodness! The good. way he laughs, oh the way he screams. I mean, oh my Look, gosh! My kids, yeah. I never see them laugh so hard as when yeah. we watch that film. They are dying so, before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's it's yeah. it's a cool, great movie. My great movie. It's really good. Yeah. All right, so oh, I think now we're on number six. The Home Alone was seventh on the list. Seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's Home Alone was seventh yeah. on the list. Sorry, now number six. So yeah. we're sitting on two points apiece. What was number six on your list, Lino? Uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas. All right, Caroline? I had the same as Lino. Charlie I had Brown. the same thing. Okay, all right. So um, oh. it was actually yep. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from 1964. Mm-hmm. And that, that Rudolph came is at number higher 30. than Home Alone. Oh god, yeah, Rudolph is higher. Oh, yeah, it's wow. by streaming okay. apparently. Yeah, this is, yeah can't okay. argue with the okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, this was the this was the the sort of clay animation or stop motion yeah. animation it's one. Yeah, it's quite cute. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was an actual yeah. cartoon. Yeah, back in the oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta go watch yeah. that. Okay, okay, yeah, it's yeah. cute. Um, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, and now all right. So we're sitting on two points apiece still, and uh, let's move up to number. four. Five. So, Lino, what was number five on your list? Yeah, Jingle All the Way. Yeah. Okay, Caroline. Yeah. Mm, I had Die Hard. 
Ah, oh, Caroline, you get a point. It Ooh. was indeed. Oh, wow. It was indeed Yay. Die Cool, hard. cool, cool. Okay. Yeah. Jingle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, from 1988, um, it was number 13 on the list. And I've got to say, um, I just couldn't pick any quotes out of Die Hard. It was too hard. Too <laughs> hard. No, yeah. I, yeah. It's, um... Although there was a, yeah, there was a mm. great one where, uh, where he's in the, he's in the vent, ventilation shaft. And he says something like, you know, come to the coast. They said, you know, just come. It'll be a great time. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. some lines you can't say, yeah, sadly on this yeah, show. <laughs> but sure. it's a good show. No. It's a good movie. Good yeah. Movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's certainly, yeah, it's considered a Christmas carol by, by a Christmas uh, movie by everyone. So sorry. And, well, and it, uh, did it keep yeah. on with that? Did it? Didn't it? Every what? Die Hard sort of came during Christmas or am I wrong? I think this, the second one was The second one came as a Christmas I theme? I yeah. think so. I'm not 100% yeah. sure. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, all right, yeah. so number four on the list, uh, Lino. I had um, Elf. Okay, Caroline. Oh, Lino, I had the Muppets <laughs> Christmas Carol. Ah, Caroline, you are killing it. It is the, yeah, oh, wow. the Muppet good, Christmas good, Carol good, from nineteen ninety two. So good we're sitting on that one. Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, it's lovely. So that Great came show. in at number ten on the list. Um, so Caroline is on four, Lino's on two. Yep, I'm, right. I'm, I'm uh, gonna die hard on this one. I tell you that now. Yeah, Lino, I don't know if you. Yeah, I. I'm uh, sure I ain't going back with this. No, no, I, yeah. yeah, I won't get any points for this one. Bad. All good. <laughs> All right. But let's just see how we go with it. Let's see what you had on your list for the top three. So number three, uh, Caroline. I went. It's a wonderful life for this one. Okay, and Lino, what did you have? I had die hard on three. <laughs> okay, so number three, according to the list, was uh, was Elf. Okay, from, oh, uh, from 2003. Uh. There you are. And that was, um, that was number eight overall on the list. Um, Ooh, and, okay, you know, okay. I, can't, I can't do this podcast with a line from Elf, so here we go. Time for an announcement. Okay. okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa, you, so funny. I know him. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything about that movie. That. Yeah, that's a great. I, that it is so, so funny. funny. We've already it's watched exciting. it this year, and we have to, we're going to watch it probably two more times <laughs> yeah. at least. So. Cool, so cool. Yeah, which means I've All got right. the last two wrong for sure. So uh, I think me yeah. Too. So these are points for upset guys. But let's just see how our list yeah. went. So um, all right. So uh, Caroline, number two, you had. I went home alone. All right, Lido. Ah, uh, the Muppet Christmas Carol. Okay, so it was actually um, a Charlie Brown Christmas from 1965. Mm. Wow. Um, so okay. it came in at number seven overall. Um, mm-hmm. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, yeah, movie, by sweet. the way. I lo- uh, it's it's just, yeah, the best. Okay. And a great bit of Christian witness going on in that one, too, True. I just got to say as well. True. Um, so powerful. I love it. Yep. True. Uh, and then lastly, so number one, uh, no surprise here. Well, uh, what did you guys have? So, Caroline, you had? I had Elf. It's our Elf, favorite movie. Course, in the your family. Yeah, it's your yeah. number one. Yeah, it's Lino, our favorite yeah. family Christmas yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Lido, you had? I had Home Alone as number one for some reason. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, because and I can imagine why. Um, yeah, so on this list, yeah. it was uh, apparently Australians, the one they streamed the most is It's a Wonderful Life from 1996. That is so it's surprising, great. to be honest. I know. It's surprising yeah. as well. But um, yeah, according to list, yeah. And of course, you know, um, this one's not a funny line, just a powerful one. Here it is. You see, George. You really had a wonderful life. Don't you see what a mistake it would be to throw it away? The, the film is just full of power. It's so beautiful. Nice. So, um, okay, that's yeah. great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've, yeah. yeah. I've got to say, I, I went through a dozen top lists of Christmas. And they, they're, all, <laughs> they're all different, disagree with each other. You know, they're all, yeah. It's all, yeah. I mean, mm. Uh, what I mean, I'm sure that people who are listening, there are movies they love that are not on this list. Either. Yes. So, um, yeah. Yes. I could uh, name a few got, more. Yeah. I mean, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I think, yeah, it's good for us to have Christmas movies, especially ones that yeah. are edifying for us and for our, you know, like yeah. for example, a Christmas Carol's. Oh well, I'm up at Christmas Carol's not on there, but yeah. um, there are so yeah. many versions of a Christmas Carol which are really powerful. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. that good one? Oh, the one that had Jim Carrey. It was am- animated. Uh, it the was Christmas a- Carol. Yeah. Y- yes, um, uh, that one is. Yeah, it's the Disney one. I think that one. Really is actually, enjoyed that one. I was so when it first came out because uh, I was teaching a Christmas Carol um, to to my year twelves at the time. I thought I'm not watching that movie. It looks terrible. You know what I mean? I was so <laughs> judgy and whatever. And the kid, the students were saying, "Can we watch it?" I said, "No, we're not watching that. We're reading the text. We're not. You know, we're not wasting our time." 
Um, <laughs> I watched it out of curiosity a few years later. I watched it and I thought, this is actually really, really close to the yes. text. I was shocked that they, yes. and, it, and okay. it was quite powerful. Yeah. It's, it's very yeah, good, it that cool. one. Yeah. Yeah. It's very well done. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, do any of you have any other Christmas movies that aren't on the list that you that you also watch? Or no, yes, no, so not, oh. not maybe not good. Shed good light on me, but we like the funny ones. So we watch like Daddy's yeah. Home. Um, it's got <laughs> Will Ferrell in it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, Mark Wahlberg. The that number one yeah. and two. And number two's got actually what's his name? Um, Mel Gibson as well. Oh, that's okay, right. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, yes, number yes. one has as well. Yeah, they both do. Oh, some, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Funny. Yep, yep. All right. Well, uh, cool. yeah. well done, Caroline. Four points. Yeah. Lido, good efforts, though. He's still, it's two points. Um, our, our Christmas <laughs> list is always going to be subjective, isn't it? Um, it's like the horse so, races. You think you can start yeah. going, going off of blocks and all that? Oh, no, coming back down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Took two steps and stopped. Yep. Yep. Congrats, Caroline. Um, what a weird. Yeah. Thanks. We know the Christmas movies. We watch them all. Well, a lot of them. <laughs> cool, cool. And uh, mm-hmm. if you played at home, tell us your score. Mm-hmm. Flick us an email or, you know, tell us on Discord. We'd love to know. Just tell us what your score was. Um, how did you go? Uh, so we, uh, just to uh, keep the games going, we've got another one. Um, so this one has to do with another um, Christmas tradition, uh, and that is the good old Christmas cracker jokes. So sorry to everyone because, like, they're, they're, they're never good, all right? The, the whole funny thing about them is they're terrible. So oh. it's a tradition for many of us to have our good old Christmas crackers, um, you know, pull them apart. We're not going to do that because I think it'll be a sound disaster to, to be popping things in people's yeah. ears. So, and a mess. Yeah. Yep. And, and a mess. And the thing yes. is, it'd be us popping them ourselves because we can't do it with each other. So, yeah, um, it doesn't quite exactly. work. You could do it through the camera, work. but no. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 <laughs> but I thought we'd make it a bit of fun. Um, so we'll, we'll play another little game. So for mm-hmm. this one, uh, the way it works is um, is... I've asked each of uh, I've asked Caroline and Lena. I've done this myself as well to come up with you know to find the list of Christmas cracker jokes that are, are funny, but there's no such thing. So just there's find no such thing as funny. Jokes. Yeah, not oh. funny. Um, anyway, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, try, try and Caroline's find the ones that are will be. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like Caroline might have this. Yeah, but yes. find some ones that are as unique as possible, and then we're going to just go around the group and we're going to tell uh, tell a joke. If someone else has that joke on the list, then you don't get a point. If someone can finish the joke, tell the punchline, you don't get a point. But if no one has it on their list and no one can tell the punchline, then you get a point. Does that make sense? Yep. All right now, scoring yep. this yep. is going to be fun because it's three of us, so I'm going to, I'm going to lose it a bit. <laughs> so, yes. uh, I'll just do the first one maybe to, to do, get this out of the way. How's that sound? You start it. Is Go. that all right? Yep. All right. Yep. So uh, here it is. What did one snowman say to the other snowman? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> can you smell carrot? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yes, I saw that a hundred times when I was yeah. looking up. Yes, I was yeah. sure about that. Sorry. Oh, Lena, you should have said something. All right. Yeah, no, that, yeah. Yeah. that was hey. like, yeah, it was showing up so many times. All good, all good. All right. So I get a point? Yep. You get a point. I'm going to actually cool. try and write this down because, yeah. Right. yeah. Three, right. three people. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Caroline, over to you. Uh, Want to hear a Christmas joke about potassium? A what minor science slanted, just to let you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, we're not going to get this one. All right, Kay. go for it. Do you get it? K. Oh, okay, K. All right, very good. Because like, yeah. the symbol, K. you're going to yes. learn as well while yeah. we go. The, oh, yeah, you probably will. Yes. K. The potassium yeah. is yeah. K. Yeah. K. All right, yeah. <laughs> I feel I like it. we're going to need to know I the periodic it. table to be able to answer Caroline's jokes. Today. Where's my T-shirt? I, I've got a periodic yeah. table on my T-shirt. I can't really find yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, all right, Lido, go for it. Okay. Why are Christmas trees so bad at sewing? <laughs> oh, I think I know this one. Is it because they always drop their needles? Correct. Very uh, good. Sorry, Lido. <laughs> All good. All good. <laughs> all right. I think you're going okay. to be the expert in this one, Lindsay. I, 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 you know what? I saw so many and I, you know what? I wish I could purge them from my brain, but I can't. So, yeah. All right. So uh, here we go. What do you call a bunch of chess players bragging about their games in a hotel lobby? Chess nuts boasting in an open foyer. Oh. Funny. Yeah, oh. I know. I know. Oh, my it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to take the I'm going to take the point for that. All right, Carol, I, I might as well just give you a point now. Go for it. What's your <laughs> what did the photon say as he checked into his Christmas accommodation? Oh boy, what? 
I don't have any bags. I'm traveling light. Oh! oh <laughs> well done. She well takes done. it. She, she takes, takes it. Two points. Oh, Lord, Lord. That's Good it. Enough. All right. <laughs> All right. Lido, let's see. Can you get yourself on? Okay. All right. I'm trying not to laugh too much because I think my, my gnomes are falling off my hat. <laughs> yeah, just give them together. Can we get it? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what music do the elves like to like the best? Nope. I haven't got it on my Rap list either. music. <laughs> With a W. Wow. Yeah. All right. You get a point for that one. Well done. Well done. All right. Um, what carol is heard in the desert? Oh. Lido, you got it? What carol is heard in the desert? Oh, it's, it's just, oh, it's flow away. It's flying away All from right. me, man. I go. Oh, camel, you faithful. Yes. Oh. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Can All I right, just Caroline. throw in a note, side note here that Lindsay's actually the master of these jokes when we have Christmas lunch. So yes. Yes, yes, he yeah. is. Yes, he is. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Only once a year. Yeah. Yes, yeah. All, right. All right. I'm a dad, so it's, you know, it's my thing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Caroline, go for it. All right. Ready? Yep. How did Mary and Joseph know that Jesus was seven pounds, six ounces when he was born? By the weight of the star? Mm. No. Oh. They had yeah. a way in a manger. Oh. Oh, oh I saw that one last night. No. <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. All right, you get it, Caroline. No, I did see that. No, why couldn't I remember it? Cool, 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 okay. Cool. All right. Oh, okay. your game. Come on. Oh, I am. Ooh, All right. I'm coming ooh, back. Completed Completed here now. Yeah, okay. Yep, here we go. Later. All right. What do you get? If you cross an apple with a Christmas tree. Mm -mm. No? No? No. What do you got? A pineapple. (laughs) 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 Don't laugh too much, Lena. Your your gnome's going to fall off your head. Your gnomes are are literally going to die of laughter. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. This one is admittedly very bad. You can probably get this one. Why did the turkey join the band? Because, because he wasn't it had drumsticks. No. Oh, it had okay, drumsticks. okay, okay, okay. Yes. Right. Doing good. Well, I can't. I can't believe I got a point for that one. That's. I should go to prison for that one. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline. Okay. What's round and bad tempered? Ooh. Anyone? No. No. A vicious oh. circle. A vicious oh. circle. Oh. A vicious that is so good. Right. Yep. 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 All right. I love that. Okay. One. I love that. One. Yep. Lido. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What do you get when you cross a lion with a snowman? No lion. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. That's good. Lion window <laughs> wardrobe. Um, <laughs> what do you. Frost, frostbite. Ah, uh, funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, what I what this is just like a typical Christmas. But you know where they start off funny and they get worse and worse as you go along. Yeah. <laughs> and my last one worse. just have to tell you is really bad. But anyway, yeah, my oh, no. uh, oh. yeah, my my current one is really bad as well. So, uh, okay. what yeah, did Adam my last say? One's pretty bad. Yeah, what did Adam say the day before Christmas? Adam, it's Christmas Eve. Oh, Caroline, you got it. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I have to say sorry. I, I actually saw I that one yesterday. Yep, yep. All right. It's Christmas Eve. Yep. All right. I don't care All right. No point for me. All right, Caroline. Okay. Did you hear about the coder who missed Christmas because he got stuck in his shower for a week? The instructions on his shampoo said lather, rinse, and repeat. If, you, if you're oh, into coding, okay. you'll get yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's right. right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Got to follow oh, the instructions. Wow. Oh, 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 Got to follow the code. Right. Oh wow! All right, Lido, got any more? Got another one? Okay. All right. This is my last one, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Gingerbread man went to the doctors, complaining of a sore knee. And the doctor said, "A sore knee? Have you tried icing it?" <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that one. <laughs> 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 oh, 
sorry, it's been a lot Lido, I'm going to give you two points for that. That was a good one. Yeah. Oh, wait till you, I have one points. more. Wait till you hear that one. No. Oh, no. Right. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. But that was actually quite good. We were quite nice again. I can't look at gingerbread men all day. <laughs> it's funny. My kids would like continue. that one. That was really funny. Cool, cool. We tried nice again. That was good. Well done. Well done. All right. Um, okay. Uh, why, why did the pony have to gargle? Mm. Oh, because it was a oh, little sh- horse. Oh. Oh. Uh, well done. Oh, well done. No. Can't we get the laugh. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, no, barely get a laugh. All right, Caroline. Uh. Okay, I'll apologize for this one in, in advance. Okay, because okay. it's a little bit. Right. What did Spock find in the Inter- Enterprise's toilet after Christmas lunch? Oh, no. What? Oh, no. The captain's oh. log. <laughs> oh. oh! That's all for all you Trekkies <laughs> out there. That was my last one. All right. Minus 10 points, Caroline, for that one. <laughs> you get it. I lose. You're going to naughty corner. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Well, I've got a few left, but I won't do <laughs> points for these because, because uh, you know, it's, if you guys have run out. So anyway, here they are just very quickly. Uh, why couldn't the skeleton go to the Christmas party? Because he had nobody to go with. I think That's I That's the one. Yeah, good. Well, <laughs> awesome. I had nobody to go with. Awesome. Right. Yeah, my yeah. voice back now. Um, <laughs> uh, how does Santa keep track of all the fireplaces he visited? Sorry. How does Santa keep track of all the fireplaces he's visited? Mm. He keeps a log book. Oh. Uh, and Caroline, yeah, that's how you do. Yeah, a, yeah. That's how you do a Christmas log joke. You know, <laughs> right. And, um, and yeah. last but not least, let's try. Let me try and redeem the sci-fi genre after what Caroline did. Here we go. So, <laughs> oh, look, it was on the internet. What could I do? I, I didn't know, write I it. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Blame the internet. <laughs> not everything you see on the internet should be shared, Caroline. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, how did Darth Vader know what Luke Skywalker got for Christmas? Was a he felt his presence. Uh, oh. good. Dun, dun, dun. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. There you yep, go. Yep. You're welcome. All right. Mm. So uh, the scores: Caroline, one, two, three, four, five, six. Lido, yep. one, two, three, four, five. Lindsay, one, yeah. two, three, four, five. I declare Caroline the winner. Yay. The winner. With, Yay. with minus a hundred points. Oh my god! I'm sure right. people laughed. Uh, I'm yeah, sure people they would definitely would. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there was someone there going. It. No, there was someone going. That wasn't funny, and they're going. You know, like that little giggle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't admit that was funny. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, like when someone goes, <laughs> someone goes, "That's not funny," and then they walk out of the room because they have to laugh. You know, yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people, are doing that right now, Caroline. Yes, yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> You're <right>. welcome. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have one more, one more little bit to do, and this is uh, over to you, Caroline, because. We are going to do a science segment today. So a bit of Christmas science, Caroline. So over to you. Yeah. So I thought, I was looking at the Christmas tree and I thought, ah, let's talk about Christmas trees today. And we're talking about living Christmas trees because everybody Mm -hmm. loves Mm -hmm. the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just thought it's a little bit, it's look, if you love trees, you're going to love this science, this topic. So, and I thought I'd go through traditional trees, and then I thought I'd talk about trees that we use here in Australia more and more commonly, right? Mm, so yeah, yeah. traditional trees, and we do get our traditions from Europe and North America to some degree. So mm. the fir tree is my first traditional tree, and fir trees are abundant in the mountains of Central and North America and also Europe, Asia, and North America. These trees grow up to ten, between 10 and 80 metres or 33 and 262 feet. And they can actually live between 50 and 300 years. And wow. they, the characteristics of these trees that make them lovely for Christmas is that they have individual flat needles. They grow in a mm. spiral on each branch tip. And they can be distinguished um by their soft cones that actually sit upright like handles. So it's no yes, surprise yeah, that they yeah, like to be yeah. used as a Christmas tree. Yeah. So, um, and the most um, popular type of this tree species that are used are the balsam fir, the Fraser fir, and the noble fir. Another group of trees that are often used as a Christmas tree is the spruce tree. And they grow in the mountain regions of Western and Northern America and also found in lots of other northern temperate regions of the planet. 
They are very large trees from about 20 to 60 metres in height, um, mm. and which is about 60 to 200 feet uh, when they're mature. And they have whorled branches, which means they radiate from a single point. And the mm. tree has a conical shape. So that traditional, you know, cone type, um, tall yeah. shape. And they're distinguished by their needles, which are four-sided and attached singly to a small peg structure on the branches and by their cones, which hang downwards after they're pollinated. Oh, yeah. um, and the most well-known spruce trees in America um, that are used are the blue spruce, the Norway spruce, and the white spruce. And then there's the good old pine tree, um, and compared to spruce and fir trees, the pine needles go in, cl in clusters, which makes the trees look denser, even though they have fewer branches than other evergreens. Mm. The um, pine trees are also more sparse, which allow you to decorate them with bigger ornaments in the holidays. Ah, and okay. yeah, and these yeah. trees can grow between 20 and 70 meters or 70 and 200 meters. 30 feet tall. So we know that a lot of people, even here in Australia, it's, it's a tradition to go to a place where you can buy a living mm -hmm. tree. tree. You can yep. cut mm -hmm. the tree mm -hmm. down and yep. you can keep it alive for a little while in a bucket. Or yep. another nice way to do it is to buy a nice young one. And if you have room in your garden, then you can plant it afterwards. Yeah. Um, um, oh, just, nice. just quickly. So in the in the Northern Hemisphere, those trees mm -hmm. you mentioned, you said the word yeah. evergreen. That They're all yes. evergreen trees because so these, obviously. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's one of the symbols of why we use the Christmas tree, isn't it? Because they are an evergreen yeah. tree. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right. So, so, yes, in Australia, we do. You can go and buy these trees, similar trees to those. But there's an ever-growing tradition now of using um, native Australian trees. And oh, wow. some of them have okay. the conical shape and some of them have other features which make them nice to use as a Christmas tree. So the first one I thought I'd talk about is the Norfolk Island Pine. And this one does look very much like a standard Christmas tree. So it's, you know, the mm -hmm. nice triangular symmetrical shape. It's got nice, wide, evenly spaced branches. And in nature, it grows along the coast and it grows well in deep sand. It also has a high toler tolerance for salt and wind, which is great yeah, if it's on yeah. the coast. On yeah. the coast, um, yeah. Yep. Young, small trees of this species do grow indoors and you can often get them as a pot plant so you can have them in your house. Yeah, um, yep, yep. Oh, okay. They're perfectly suited to Australian climate because they prefer bright light, indirect light, but they don't require much maintenance. So you just. Keep them in your house <laughs> and let them oh, go. Oh, great. Yeah, that's a um, good idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can have this one indoors until it gets really big and then you can put yeah. it outside. And I'm, out I'm, I'm just looking at some pictures, sorry, quickly, because yeah. I, I yeah. Googled this, right? Yeah. So yeah. you've got, like you said, this pot plant. Yeah. you got these massive trees, like yes. all the same, yes. you know, of this. And someone here has even done a Norfolk Island uh, pine bonsai tree forest. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is, yeah, you amazing. Can. Yeah. Very yeah. Very versatile tree, yeah. It is, it is. And you said they grow really um, large and they can yeah. grow up between 50 and 65 metres. So, And cool. they take their time actually growing that tall, but yeah. they are very large trees. Yeah, this pot plant to a, you know, a <laughs> exactly. giant thing, yeah. So another tree that I thought I'd talk about, and this is one of my favourites, I've spoken about it on the podcast before, it's another large tree, is the yeah. good old Wollamai pine. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's commonly referred to as the dinosaur tree right, because yes. yep. fossils tell us mm -hmm. that this tree existed between 200 and 100 million years ago and once covered wow. all of Australia. And yeah, botanists wow. and archaeologists actually used to think that it was extinct. And then in 1994, oh. um, these trees were rediscovered in the temperate rainforest of Wollamai National Park by a park yes. ranger called uh, David Noble. When he was out on a hike and he had a look and went, uh, what is this tree? <laughs> and uh, he had some investigations and they rediscovered the Wollamai Pine, which is yeah, amazing. Yes. Oh, and back. you can good, look up our good, episode good. on that um, yes. in the Let Science and there's a lot of detail, a lot more detail there. So yeah. Wollamai Pines are among the rarest and most ancient species on earth, actually. Yeah, um, they're amazing. They yeah. are. 
They have conical shape and pendulous branches, which mean they tend to hang out downwards. Their leaves tend to be kind of flat and they've got kind of thick, um, like, I guess not, I guess like the pines have spikes, you know, like needles, but these are kind of mm-hmm. flat. Flat, um, yeah, yeah. They can grow up to about 40 metres tall. Um, wow. Mature trees um, normally have more than one trunk and can produce up to 40 trunks on a single tree. Oh, my goodness yeah. me. Which wow. means cool. they can reach up to 450 years old. And some trees can be hundreds, if not thousands of years old because they keep producing wow. these trunks. Yeah, it produces, yeah, um, it yeah. trunks. Yeah. Sure. Um, it's great for hanging Christmas decorations. Um, you can actually have one in a pot, like I do have one in a pot in the garden. Yeah. So you can um, you put it inside, decorate it. You can put yeah. it back outside in the garden. Cool, and yeah. um, once choice. again, if you have room, plant it in the ground. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, these plants have been propagated and sold in nurseries now to encourage people to purchase them increase and increase their population. And cool. even some yeah, botanical gardens yeah, in our yeah, local yeah. area are mm. starting to plant yeah. these trees. So we can actually see them in the wild or in the nature, well, not in the wild, but, you know, in the ground. (laughs) And, um, and, um, yes, so I do have my one and it is on next on the list to be decorated with decorations. (laughs) So next is the South Esk Pine. So this one is found in Tasmania. It is one of 11 species of conifer that are native to Australia. It's a small evergreen tree with upward angled and down, oh, dense yeah. branches. It has bluish green foliage and grows up to about six metres. Um, yeah, in their native habitat the, in the bush, they typically rely on fire to open and release the seeds. However, if the fires are too hot or frequent, they won't survive. And oh, we do know that right. there are other types of Australian plants, such as the banksia, that rely on the process of needing fire to open up the seeds and the cones to drop their seeds. So oh, wow. often in a oh, bushfire, cool. um, you know, the bush tends to regenerate pretty quickly, actually, yeah, um, yeah. unless it's been really intense, like a really few years ago, which yeah, yeah, yeah. devastated mm. a lot of um, parks yeah. in uh, New South Wales. But um, mm. yeah, they they actually the the cones are, um, are so tight that they need the fire to open up, and yeah. um, the seeds will drop and the plants will regenerate. So the South Esk pine has been listed as a nationally endangered species, and uh. um, Oh, Due to its oh, habitat wow. being largely cleared for agriculture, and yes. they are only found oh. in specific areas of Tasmania naturally, which makes them quite rare. So, yeah. pr- to protect this native plant, such as and as the Wallamai pine, um, the South Esk pine reserved was um, established in 1998. This reserve covers uh, an area of northeast Hobart and is owned by the Palawa Indigenous people. So um, they are also being cultivated and um, encouraged to be grown at home as in a plant pot or to keep or to grow in your garden and um, to keep the species going. Yeah. Um, and also beautiful to decorate with, you know, lovely Christmas decorations. Cool. And yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, these are all great choices, these Australian natives. I love them, yeah. They are, they are. And now yeah. this is another very popular one that you will see yeah. everywhere. It's the woolly bush. Mm. So um, this beautiful plant has very silvery foliage with soft velvety texture. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's native to the south coast of Western Australia. And I think this one is a real favourite. Um, I've seen it being mm. sold in Bunnings or even in Woolworths or decorated mm. as a Christmas tree. I yeah. have actually got three of them in my yard. I love them so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> this plant is um, particularly popular to use as a Christmas tree as it has a silvery tinge to the leaves, which Amazing. can make it resemble a, like a light snow covering. which like is snow, often, yeah. Yeah which is yes. uh, associated with the Northern Hemisphere Christmas. But I reckon in Australia it more resembles like the bright summer sunlight reflecting off the leaves or like true, when the true. surface is really hot. So yeah, that's yeah, another way yeah. to look at it for that's our Aussies forward. down here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, yeah. So the woolly bush goes into a one metre to five metre tall shrub. So it's really good for growing. So you can have it in your house in a pot and you can have, yeah. it, have it as an indoor plant. 
Um, and then you can put it outside like the others when the yeah. um, Christmas period yeah. is over. Yeah. And yeah, uh, when it makes, it does make little orange flowers, which birds love as well. So, you know, I love bird attracting <laughs> plants as well. So that's one of them. Um, this is turning into an episode of Better Homes and Gardens now. I like it. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. We, we like to cover all areas of science on this um, yeah. podcast. So, you know, trees are part of it. And yeah, cool. so just as a side note, I have a couple of other native trees in, that are in my front yard that we dress up every year as Christmas trees. Yeah. One is a banksia that I spoke about before. It's mm. a banksia red dawn and it makes beautiful, large, rust, reddish, cylindrical oh, um, nice. shaped flowers. flowers. So if you think of a banksia, yeah. there are many types of banksia. Some are even yes, called correct. like candle flowers because they have like kind of thinner, longer um, yeah. flowers. Um so, yeah, that depends on the species. And then I have another one called a Dawson River Weeper, which is a type of calistamon, or we often call them um, the bottle brush tree. You see bottle brush oh, bottle everywhere. Brush. Yes, the most yes, common yeah. one is like yeah. the red one. So you see like a yes. bottle brush type flower. Yep, and, yep. Um, yes, we put lights and, and decorations on those as well in nice. our front yard. So, yeah. so now that I've mentioned that, guys, put you on the spot do you oh. think in your yards you guys may have some trees that you can decorate in your garden or do you or is there a species that i've mentioned that maybe you consider purchasing Ooh. and Ooh. taking home and perhaps Ooh. using as a christmas tree and then planting in your yard what do you reckon Lindsay? so, so um we do have trees in our front yard yes that could be used for for decorating uh Yes. So, yeah, no, they're not necessarily in, in good positions in the yard, but they could be, mm. but they could still be decorated for sure. We've actually got, so near the, near the stairs that lead into the, to our front door, mm -hmm. there's a tree that's, uh, it's, it's died, right? It's just a stump that's sticking out of the ground. You know, it's about, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe two meters high. Um, <laughs> and we'll try, we'll talk about what to do with it. And we actually thought we could put lights around it. Um, yeah. Christmas, cause it, it's like a, it's like a pole now. It's yeah. not worth taking out of the ground because it's it could have the way it's positioned, right? But we could actually, rather than like completely destroy it now, we could put Christmas lights around it. Um, That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, you could um, find a, a creeper type plant or something yeah, that needs something, something to lay on. Yeah, and yeah. You exactly. Can, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. Use That's, it. That's a good way of about that. recycling yeah. the tree idea. or yeah, keeping, right. keeping yeah. it there and, yeah. and using yeah. your natural resources there. Yes. Yeah, I hadn't thought about there that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lino, um, do you, what about you? Oh, sorry, no. did you have more, Lindsay? No, no, that's it. That's all. Oh, that's all. Is it? Oh, Lindsay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, not, not in the front yard. Um, we have we got a lot of um gum trees in our, our street, but that's another mm. situation <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be settled. <laughs> you can put, them put, yeah. <laughs> you definitely can put um yeah. Christmas trees on there, and I mean, sorry, Christmas lights and everything. Um, to decorate that. Um, no, no, actually, no. We don't have any trees. Actually, we can um. Decorate more in the front, but in the backyard we can. But no one's going to see it except us. No, it's right. more in the back yeah. with your house. You're right. Yeah. 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 I think it's the way. Well, not the way it's been designed, but look. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So it was a few things um, we can decorate and everything. But as your question is, Caroline, this woolly bush mm. one looks very nice. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. Reckon, reckon they are great. That. Quite mm. hardy and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. a beautiful, beautiful plant. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I agree. Oh, and it's oh, nice to actually, yeah. if you touch the the foliage on it, mm -hmm. it's really mm -hmm. nice. Like you touch it, and Ooh. it's like fur. It's really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lovely. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. While I was um googling these trees that you were um talking about, uh, it brought up um native Australian plants as advent wreaths, which I was ah, surprised. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Like a, oh, cool. a banksia, a banksia yeah. wreath. Yeah, yeah. They, these yeah. are beautiful. Yeah. Actually, you could use a lily pilly too because they make nice little uh, red fruit yes. and you could yes. use, and the leaves yeah, are quite yeah. beautiful. So I could imagine making yep. that into a wreath as well. Wreath out of those. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Yeah, yep. that's great. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That is great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. you go. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Caroline. That's a, I, I right. like that topic a lot. Yeah. Sorry. Was there any, <laughs> was anything else about it or? Yeah. No, I just thought, you know, cool. let's let's think about yeah. our trees and some alternatives, you, you know. Yeah, let's, definitely. Let's celebrate what we have natively. And, I mean, in any country, I'm sure there's a tree that you could use, mm -hmm. a plant yeah. that is evergreen, and you don't have to go get a typical-looking 
conical type triangular you can, um, shaped tree. You can have any foli- any type of tree with any kind of foliage that you like and you can yeah. decorate it how you like as well and celebrate yeah, nice. your native um, vegetation at your in mm-hmm. your place where you live. That sounds mm-hmm. great. Wow. All right. Um, thank you so much for that. I love it. Yeah. So um, it's it's been a fun episode, guys. Uh, you know, just doing some Christmassy stuff. So I hope that uh, everyone who's listening, you got a, a bit of fun out of that too. Maybe some uh, some ideas for your Christmas trees for this year. Um, but before we go, we'd like to take a moment to, uh, first of all, thank you for joining us for episode 111 of the Catholics of Oz. And also to thank our patrons who make it possible for us to um, to create the show. Today, we would love to thank and wish a Merry Christmas, Juliana H, Robert R, uh, Leland M, Chris J, and Janice B. Through their generous donations at sqpn.com slash give, they make it possible for the Catholics of Oz and all of the other shows at StarQuest to continue. You can join them by visiting sqpn.com slash give. And we would love to know your thoughts about today's show. How did you guys ranking the movies? Have you got any uh, Christmas cracker jokes that you dare to share with us? <laughs> We'd love to hear those as well. Um, you can send us feedback by visiting sqpn.com slash oz, where you can find all the notes and links for today's episodes. Sorry, episode, I should say. Um, we did one. So, <laughs> yeah. While you're on the, yeah, I wasn't in the eggnog, I promise. Uh, while you're on the uh, SQPN <laughs> website, you can also sign up and join the Insiders Club to get the newsletter um, and the updates about your favorite shows, sqpn.com slash about slash newsletter. And uh, don't forget that you can talk to us and other SQPN hosts and, um, and listeners as well on Discord. You can sign up at um, sqpn.com slash Discord and join all the fun conversations there. Uh, I posted something in the Science Channel about a kangaroo in Canada who had escaped when it was being transferred from one to <laughs> yeah. another. And a police oh, wow. officer managed to uh, to um, to to sort of um, you know detain it, and the kangaroo punched the officer in the face because good old Bob Whoa! Because oh, that's what, that's what Australia said? yeah that's what Australian animals do. The officer was fine, thankfully, but there's a great Thank video for the of officer. It. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Um, okay, good, good there's good. a great video of another police officer trying to tell the media what happened, and he's smiling <laughs> yeah. all the way through, which is quite funny. Poor guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so a lot of fun on Discord. So please join us there. It's um to and join us as well. So uh, you can also find more um more about our shows on all the socials, facebook.com slash Starquest Media, um at SQPN on X. And uh don't forget um also that we have our own Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Catholics of Oz, spelled O Z, and you can share about our latest episodes there if you want to. And you can reach us by good old email, just as John did today, Catholics of Oz at SQPN.com. Uh, Caroline, thank you so much for being on our final show of the year today. Thank you. It was so much fun and I apologize for my bad joke, but <laughs> I want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you to all the listeners yeah. to, to sticking with us all year and I wish you all and you and Lino to all of your families, you and all your families, um, everyone, um, a very merry and blessed Christmas and may everybody have a blessed and wonderful new year as well. Awesome. And Lino, thank you so much for uh, joining us for our, our wonderful Christmas special today. <laughs> thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Caroline. Yes, Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, take care and God bless. Um, it has been an interesting year. I, what, we say it again, where has it gone? But <laughs> the most important thing is all of us are here and safe and well. And um, we'll get prepared for next year and another Awesome year of um, Catholics of Oz. I'd like to thank um, all our families and friends and all our listeners and supporters, especially around the world. Um, I've forgotten to speak my um, Spanish and my Italian and, and all the people who have, you know, come back and, uh, you know, um, supported us. Uh, I'd like to thank, first and uh, second of all, um, uh, SQPN for um, this, um, looking after us and um, guiding us in what we need uh, for our podcast and Dom. Yeah. And all the family there, you know, um, take care. And um, Caroline, Lindsay, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Of course, I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's probably, probably the probably see probably you tomorrow. Third of- yeah. <laughs> and Caroline yeah, today. Tomorrow. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Caroline, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for all our families and friends overseas as well. Take care, guys. Yeah. God bless. Thank you so much, Lido. And um, yeah, and uh, also I want to extend that thanks to you guys. Yeah, you, Caroline and Lido. Um, for what is it, four years of this show? I think it is. We had our hundredth episode this year, so it was um, it was amazing. Um, so I love podcasting with the two of you every two weeks. On you know when we get up on a Saturday morning, nice and early, and, um, <laughs> yes. and do this. So 
yeah, it's always it's always a joy and a pleasure to do this and have a bit of fun with you guys and, and share with our listeners. To all of you who listen, thank you so much. You make the show. We do it for you. Uh, we do this because we just want to share something with you to to you know to make you feel involved in our community and um, and to uplift you and and you know give you something that we hope is valuable and, and have a bit of fun along the way. And a huge huge thank you to Dom and um, and the SQPN uh, network um, who have given us a place for this show, um, who you know who provided us a spot where we could uh, share our Aussie accents, um, but also you know <laughs> provide something that you know something we hope adds value to the to the network as well for mm-hmm. the for the sake of everyone who listens um, and joining Starquest in its mission. So um, a merry merry Christmas, may God bless you all. Um, a blessings you know a blessings um, uh, to all of your families. Um, you know, wherever you are, whatever, you know, whatever's happening in your life right now, please know that we, we love you. We are praying for you and we pray that this Christmas season will bring the light of Christ into our lives, all of your lives. Um, again, God bless you all. Once again, I'm Lindsay Sand and thank you so much for joining us for episode 111 of the Catholics of Oz on StarQuest and we'll see you next year.